Welcome everyone to our Practice Builders webinar series. My name is Andrea Golden and I'm a business development consultant for Practice Builders. Today's webinar is titled Increase Your Practice Revenue with Vaser Shape, the Non-Invasive Body Shaping System. Oh, now before we get started, I wanted to quickly address a few items regarding the webinar. All attendees will be muted and therefore if you have a question during the webinar, please feel free to type it in your chat box and we'll address it during the Q&A session. And also, once the webinar has concluded, every registrant will receive a copy of the PowerPoint slides as well as a recorded version with audio. Just a little bit about Practice Builders before we get going. Since 1979, I'm sure many of you know Practice Builders has been helping private healthcare practices achieve growth and success through very effective and intelligent solutions. We are the largest think tank of its kind in North America and have consulted with more than 15,000 healthcare practices located in every state, every imaginable socioeconomic region, and in nearly every field of healthcare, including everything from medical, dental, eye, hearing, veterinary, physical, and occupational therapy. And now I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Tal Humes, our presenter for this evening. Dr. Humes is board certified in internal medicine and is the medical director and founder of Vital Medical Aesthetics. I'd like to present Dr. Humes. Hi, everybody. So a little bit about Vital. Uh, we were started in 2005, and when we started Vital, our goal was to bring together the luxury of the spa, but then have the safety and efficacy of a medical practice. So what we wanted was, at the time, a lot of patients were feeling like they couldn't get everything they wanted at their doctor's office, or they couldn't get everything they wanted at a spa. So we thought, okay, how can we do this and put things together? So you can take a look on the right, that's a picture of us. Um, and then just a little bit, you know, about us. We started with a little bit more spa treatments. We were doing lasers, Botox, microderms, peels, but then we were also doing more spa treatments. We quickly evolved away from our spa or fluffy treatments and stopped doing massage. And then we went to more of a medical aesthetics um, side of things. We started getting more advanced in, you know, our training that we received on lasers and Botox, as well as started training other offices. And our big thing was to try to get new lasers when they were available. You know, we kind of looked at it as that it's all about technology and how you present it to your patients. So, you know, our thing is we didn't want to be run of the mill. We wanted to try to see, okay, with other places around us, what could we do? So we thought, all right, let's offer some really good services. Let's offer really good technology. And let's try to keep up on the latest and greatest. We also wanted to be experts in the treatments we offered. So we didn't want to just, you know, kind of know how to do things. We wanted to say, okay, these are the treatments we offer and how are we going to be really good at it? And then also we had to figure out how are we going to then meet our target audience, market to them, and make sure that they remember us. So, you know, with all that being said, how did we get into vaser shape or what we actually call the fat blaster? You know, we just talked about how it's all about technology. So in summer of 2010, we were looking at what technology do we want to bring on. We wanted to keep up with the latest trends. We wanted to meet our patients' expectations. And we wanted to have new treatments that would make us money. You know, back in the day when I first went to medical school, my dad, who's a businessman, reminded me that men medicine is a business. So I was thinking, okay, let's get some technology that's not going to only help us succeed with our patients, but also succeed in business. The thing is, is that we actually found out that we were on par with the trends. So not only were our patients asking for body shaping procedures, but in 2009, there were 1.4 million body contouring treatments done, and this is expected to increase to 2.8 million by 2014. So if you're looking at revenues on that, you're looking at 1.5 billion, which is a lot of money. So, you know, we're talking about major shape. Why did I choose it over other technology? And it took me a really long time to get to what I wanted. Um, as I said, our patients were asking for it. And initially when I started looking, our patients weren't asking, so I wasn't in a huge hurry. Then our patients started asking, and I didn't want to turn them away. The other thing is I'm an internist. I'm not a surgeon, so I was looking for something non-surgical. And I had tried a lot of other technology. We had offered lipodissolve, and then we stopped it. It was hard downtime for our patients, a lot of swelling and bruising, became on by the FDA, and honestly, we had variable results. And I think that's what most people were noticing with it. I started looking at a lot of different machines. I looked at Vela Shape and Vela Smooth, and the results weren't long enough lasting. 
looked at all my accent, but when I talked to other doctors, no one was seeing consistent results. I checked out Zorona, but everything about Zorona was all about diet and exercise. So my thought was, well, why would I buy a machine? If I can send my patients out, they can diet, they can exercise, send them over to a trainer, that machine may not be needed because they're gonna be losing the weight anyways. And the other thing I looked at was LTIC. And why I decided on Vasership over Zeltique is because with Zeltique you don't have an immediate effect. For you know, some patients it can be painful, there's a lot more of disposable cost, and also you're limited on body areas. And our patients are asking for their entire body. So as I'm looking at all these, I was getting frustrated. I hadn't heard of Vasership yet, and then all of a sudden I heard about it. But I'd done all this research on these other machines, hadn't really liked what I'd seen, so I wasn't like just convinced with vaser shape at the beginning. But so I did some research on my own. And to give you a little of an idea of what vaser shape is, so it is a non-invasive ultrasound system that's FDA approved to temporarily reduce the appearance of cellulite and to improve blood circulation. The truth is I used it because my favorite side effect is fat reduction. And this is where we're seeing great results. It does have an ultrasound handpiece which, um, just to, so you know a little bit about the machine, it's dual head ultrasound that's delivering a double beam of one millihertz ultrasound frequency. This beam, that dual head, the, the ultrasound beams are gonna overlap about one to five centimeters below the surface of the skin, where thermal and mechanical effects are gonna change those fat cells, reducing cellulite and fat. So that's a little bit about the machine. I liked what I saw, we decided to get it. And now that we have this machine, we need to start using it and we need to start marketing. So it's like, the next thing was, okay, how are we gonna make this work? What are we gonna do? So the first thing we did is, you know, it's all about educating yourself. If you don't know how the machine works, then how can you tell your patients about it? So we, you know, all of our staff did some research on it. I had done research on it, as I told you. We did training with the company and talked to other doctors about settings and results that they were seeing. And the other thing is, when you bring on this machine, you need to believe in what you're selling. So the more you educate yourself, the more you can believe in what you have, because you're gonna be seeing those results or you're gonna know how it works. Then you need to educate your patients because the more they know, the more they're gonna know what to expect. And then finally, I think as with any aesthetic treatment, you need to have good patient selection. So your ideal patient for vaser shape is gonna be a patient who exercises and eats right. Now that doesn't mean that they need to start exercising and start eating right in order to do vaser shape. You know, as we were talking about with Zorona. What is it that your ideal patient is somebody who is you know, somewhat fit but has their problem areas? They also have to have realistic expectations because if they aren't realistic about themselves, they're never gonna be able to see good results, no matter how great the result is. And you know, you have to be realistic that the machine can only do so much. I sort of joke that if your patient thinks it's going to make him, him or her rich or save the world, that you better run fast and run hard from them. But it's true, you know, if they think that this is somehow going to change their life other than how they look, then you need to take that into consideration when you know, picking your patient. You also know that vaser shape can't make an obese patient skinny. So you, again, have to pick that right person. And I've had those patients come in. You know, I had a woman who not only, you know, needed a tummy tuck and liposuction, but honestly needed to lose a good 60 pounds. And that's not a patient that I think is gonna be a good candidate for vaser shape. And then finally, you need to take into account what their skin defects are. So if their skin defects aren't from lax skin or fat, you know, if they've got underlying veins or a lot of scar tissue, these are patients who aren't gonna see the results they want from vaser shape. Now, that doesn't mean that their fat and their texture from cellulite isn't gonna improve, but they're still gonna see those veins and they're still gonna see those scars. The other thing is that you can't oversell. You know, I always, you know, you hear that age old under promise over deliver, but it really is true. You know, under promise what they're gonna get and then they're gonna be really happy when they see great results. Educate them, like I talked about, about what they're going to get. What does the treatment do? How does it work? You know, what are they gonna expect after every single treatment? And if they're not a good candidate, don't recommend the treatment for them. The other thing is make sure to adjust the settings and their treatments so that they keep seeing better results. You know, we don't have one set round of settings for patients. We change it sometimes from treatment to treatment, sometimes from patient to patient. So your treatments not only need to evolve per patient, but they need to evolve as you become better with using the machine. And also, you know, talking to other doctors and finding out what they're doing. I've been using the machine, this machine for nine months. I went to um, a conference this past weekend and listened to another doctor talk who actually uses different settings than I do. He also sees great results, and I'm gonna try his settings as well just to see what I can do putting it into our protocol. So we have major shape, and how it's evolved in our practice is, you know, I told you I wanted something non-surgical initially. 
And then I brought on a plastic surgeon. I partnered up with him, and he um, does Baser Lipo for us. So now Baser Shape isn't a standalone treatment for us only. So we use a standalone, but also we use it pre and post Baser Lipo. We'll use it immediately post Baser Lipo to speed up healing time. It's going to help decrease. Um, it's not going to decrease healing, as my slide shows. Sorry, it's going to decrease swelling and decrease any um, risk of uneven texture. We also use it as an adjunct to lipo. So sometimes you'll have a patient who's done baser lipo. They have a little spot that maybe you'd consider going back in and touching up with liposuction. And instead, we'll treat them with baser shape and not have to put them through, you know, not do another surgical procedure. We also, you know, with the evolution of baser in our practice, we've needed to market it. So, you know, it's really important to market, as I think most of us have learned in this industry. And you need to market not only yourself, but your treatments. So we figured, okay, well, how can our treat patients know about it if we don't tell them about it? So we thought, all right, we gotta get out there, we gotta tell our patients all about phaser shape. We have this machine, we wanted to use it, how are we gonna get them? We did our initial marketing with a soft launch. Um, some of that was, this machine was brand new when we got it. We didn't know a lot about it, and we thought, okay, how are we gonna tell our patients? So we thought, we started with some newsletter articles just describing what phaser shape is, and that alone, we got phone calls. Everybody wanted consults because they read about Baser Shape and wanted to come in. We put up some information in our office, um, posters, information brochures, just because not everybody actually opens up the emails we send them. And then we also got something on our website. Again, we knew very little about what, um, you know, what kind of results we were going to see. I knew what I had researched, but we didn't, we didn't have any of our own pictures, so we kind of went on our website, put up a little bit of information because even a little bit is going to get somebody in. And then for us, it was all about the consults. Um, showing before and after pictures, t again, educating the patients, and that was our soft launch. Since then, we've expanded our marketing. We have done more and more print advertisements. Um, to the right is our Fat Blaster ad that we use. We've done billboards, and then we've expanded our web marketing a lot, and it's been great with Phaser Shape web marketing. The other thing is you need to educate your staff. So the front staff need to know everything about this machine because they're the ones who are gonna be talking about it. If the patient calls in, they need to know how can they talk about this or how can they get somebody booked for a consult. Our goal is to get every single patient that wants to do laser shape in for a consult first, just because you wanna make sure that they're, again, that a good candidate for it. We're confident in the procedure, and we, again, we don't oversell. If we don't think it's the right procedure for them, we tell them. Once we get them booked, now it's all about the treatment. We tell everybody that's gonna be a series of six treatments, and we always recommend a package, but there are patients that we don't end up doing the package with. They only need three. So the great part is, is that we sell them a package of six, we use those three extra treatments for another area. You know, initially we were scheduling them once a week. We still will sometimes, but the majority of our patients we're seeing twice a week. So we charge 650 to $1,200 per treatment. And that's gonna depend on whether or not they're doing a package or not. And my thought is non-surgical treatments just cost more because these patients are paying for time and paying for no downtime. You know, with this, they're coming in six different times, sometimes three, you know, per area, but again, six different times. And the fact that they have no downtime, you know, in our practice costs them more. The other thing is that for us, it's all about quality, not quantity. If we charge too little for the treatment, and we feel like, okay, we have this machine, we need to pay for that. Are we gonna compromise our patient selection because we're trying to sell too many treatments or to too many patients? What we wanna do is make sure that we're picking the right patients. And then the other thing is that we wanna make money out from a new machine. You know, medicine, like we talked about earlier, is a business, so not only do we want good patient care, but we wanna increase revenue and then be able to add the next latest and greatest, you know, a year or two down the line. And, you know, we always get the question of, so, well, how do you get patients to pay? Well, we're confident in our procedure. We know what the machine does. We educate our patients on that. Again, we only sell to patients who we think need it. If we think that they're going to get good results and, you know, see what we expect them to see or if they're a good candidate. Again, we don't want to have a patient coming in who we don't think has the right expectations. And then finally, you know, when you're talking to a patient, I'll say to a patient, we charge 1200 for one treatment. But our goal isn't to have you do one treatment. Our goal is to have you do a package. And our package is, you know, 3900 for a package of six, bringing it down to 650 a treatment. So we're seeing about two to four inches of reduction in abdominal circumference, and we're seeing the biggest reduction after three treatments. So again, we were talking about 
six treatments for a patient. Not all of our patients are getting six treatments. Some of them are after three treatments, seeing enough of a result that they want to move on to another area. The other thing is, is that we're not the only office um, seeing these kind of results. The demo that I went to this past weekend, in the demo just from that one treatment, that patient had a reduction in 2.5 inches around their abdominal circumference. Now that being said, measuring is tough. So we, we tend to use a measuring tape. We tried fat calipers, but that's very operator specific. We do do photos and we, you know, we think some of our photos are great, others the patients are very happy and we didn't do as good of a job taking photos. So we tend to stick with the measuring tape and that's where we're seeing the most consistent readings. We've performed hundreds of treatments and the machine itself paid for itself in three months. So we were really happy about that. You know, keep in mind that our initial patients, we had a few that were free just for us to train on. Then we had some that we did at 450 for treatment um, with them knowing that we were going to be doing training on them and using their photos. And then for us, packages are a must. We, again, have set the price at $1,200 per treatment because our goal is to never sell just one because we want patients to see what it can do even over, you know, only three treatments. I've had over 65000 in income, and that's not even including the additional lipo income we've had with Baser Lipo. You know, with Baser State being our gateway to these procedures, oftentimes we have somebody come in, they saw our fat blaster ad, they want to come in for Baser Shape, we start talking in a consultation, and really they're a better candidate for Baser Lipo. So we talk about both, let them choose, and so Baser Shape in itself has brought in patients for other procedures. And with all that said, we're not even talking about when it, you start to talk about skin care with some of these patients. This is one of our patients. He is a gentleman who's in his 50s. He was one of our first patients. And you can see what we're going to be looking at is we treated his love handle um, and his abdomen. I'll show you the abdomen picture afterwards. This is him after three treatments. So you can see a significant reduction in his love handle, especially on this right side. This is him from the front. Um, you can see on this lower right side, he does have an abdominal scar from an appendectomy. And that's an area that I actually wanted to go over because we didn't see, I mean, I think he has a great result here, but we didn't see as much of a result in that one spot. But he is so happy that he doesn't even feel like he needs to go do more of those. And his abdomen, we did do six treatments. Our next patient, this is a female. We treated um, her abdomen. This is her after six treatments. And you can see a reduction, you know, in her abdomen and her girth. And then this is her from at an oblique angle. What I'm showing here is that you can see that she has more definition in her abs afterwards. This next element is a patient that, in all honesty, I probably would not have picked um, when I did his consult. I didn't do his consult, my nurse practitioner did, and she did a wonderful job treating him, as you'll see in a moment. He had actually come into us, um, he had had liposuction a few years ago, did not want to do liposuction again. The reason his uh, picture is shadowed is because actually his belly was so big that we weren't able to get the light fit so that we couldn't get a shadow. And this is him after six treatments. I absolutely wasn't expecting to get this kind of a result with him, but we're really pleased. And this is him from the side. So what we found out from this gentleman, when he actually, after his six treatments on his full abdomen, he came back um, a month later and started doing treatments on two separate areas. He then started doing his um, pecs as well as his butt. And when he came back in, we were actually doing his post-op, uh, or pre-op, sorry, pictures for those areas. And he mentioned to us that he was continuing to have results and his abdomen was flattening out even more. So his, his post-six treatments, that was done a week after his sixth treatment. He was done at two times per week. And the final picture was one month after that last treatment. And then again, this is him from the side, where you can see that he's continuing to have results. Um, I've since then talked to him on the phone, and he has seen improved results since then. I apologize in this last picture that his hands are down. We weren't taking pictures of his abdomen um, at the time, so we have his hands down. So if you guys have any questions, I'd love to answer them. Very good. We've got several uh, that have come in, Dr. Humes. First one is, who performs the treatments at your office, you or a staff member, and who does the consults? So, you know, multiple, multiple staff members perform the treatments. Um, it's myself, one of our nurse practitioners, as well as our estheticians. I tend to do the majority of the consults. 
Um, and oftentimes that's because in, within our practice, I tend to do most of our consults, but our staff members can do them as well. Excellent. How long does the treatment take from beginning to end? So on days that we take pictures, they're a little bit longer, but as far as the treatment itself, if we're just doing one area, about 20 minutes. Now, if we're starting to do multiple areas, you know, it doesn't compound itself on 20, you know, 20, 20, 20, you know, because as you already have the patient on the table, it's not going to take you as long to do a second area. Next question. Are there any disposable costs or other hidden costs with vaser shape procedures? You know, the only disposable cost is um, on the uh, massage hand piece, there are some membranes. And those, I mean, you come with a giant bag that I haven't gone through yet of them and we actually clean them in between those will eventually wear out and then as far as the ultrasound hand piece at some point that may need to be replaced but you know you're talking about 400 hours for that treatment so that's hundreds and hundreds of procedures and you know you're looking at probably about five to six hundred thousand dollars in revenue before you're looking to replace that how do you manage patient expectations of the treatment well first off you know we talked about earlier it's good patient selection and in our consultations, we actually go through what the treatment is, how it works, and then we walk them through the treatment um, right before we start it. So we tell them, listen, you know, if, if two to four inches is not enough for you for the kind of reduction that we expect you to see, you know, we, we don't actually, I shouldn't say we tell them, we ask them, do, will you be satisfied with, you know, if you're somebody who's going to be a two-inch reduction as opposed to four? We also talk to them about what they expect to see. When we're talking about cellulite, you know, texture is a little bit more difficult. So we talk to them about what we think we expect for them. And, you know, kind of, un again, under promise and say, you know, if we only see this much, will that be satisfactory to you? Next question. What training did you receive on the device? The training we did was with um, Sound Surgical. They actually came out to our office, did an office training with our staff as well as myself went through how to sell you know how to sell the procedure how to talk about the procedure how to do the procedure okay do you do any combination procedures with the vaser shape in office and if so what type of results do you see so we very often are doing vaser shape and vaser lipo together and we're seeing great results so depending on the patient some patients will do vaser shape first almost a prime on for their lipo or maybe they have an event coming up or they have a trip so they're not going to be able to do the downtime post-surgery. So they'll start with vaser shape and then go to vaser lipo and then follow up with vaser shape. Uh, some of them are just doing vaser shape right afterwards. And then also we'll do, you know, vaser shape tends to get patients in, you know, you've got a captive audience when the patient is laying there for 20, 30 minutes. So the uh, clinicians will start talking with them about other procedures. And the next thing you know, they're doing, um, you know, laser treatments on their face, hair removal on their body. Okay. A lot of different options. Great. Uh, another question. Have you ever had a patient become uncomfortable and squeamish during the treatment? Not compared to other procedures. But, you know, as far as occasionally it'll get a little bit warm. So we talked to our patients about it before. We explained to them that our goal is to heat up the skin. We're looking to heat you to between, you know, 42 and 48 degrees Celsius. And that as it gets warm, they're going to feel it and just to sort of let us know when it's getting too warm and then we talk them through it. But we've never been in a situation where we couldn't finish the treatment. How many of your vaser shaped patients are new patients versus existing? Both, wow. We, you know, our marketing, that our outside marketing has brought in so many new patients. There are so many people out there wanting to do uh, vaser shape non-invasive non lipo or just looking for different options or combinations. So as far as actual numbers, I don't have the exact numbers, but, you know, we've seen, I don't know, probably, you know, per month we're probably seeing, oh boy, I wish I could give you the exact number. That's something I'd have to look up that I didn't think to. Okay. But a lot. Very uh, so a lot are new, and of our patients who are already here, you know, I would say our conversion rate has been great. Excellent. And the last question, because we're just about at our limit now, and several have wanted to know this one. Do you charge for consults? We don't charge for consults. We actually never have. Um, we actually considered it. And then, you know, when the economy, when things changed with the economy, we said, you know what, we're, let's keep not charging for consults. And we have not gone to charging for consults. I don't think it's a bad idea. Um, which is not what we've done. And, you know, a lot of times patients 
do like to be able to come in and get educated. Absolutely. Well, listen, we'd like to thank everyone for taking the time to join us today for our webinar, Increase Your Practice Revenue with Vaser Shape, the Non-Invasive Body Shaping System. And as a reminder, we will be sending out copies of our webinar slides and recorded versions once the webinar has concluded. Thank you again and have a great evening.